example six, a company manufactures and sells X transistor radius per week. If the weekly cost and the price demand equation are CX equals to 5,000 plus 2X and PX is equals to 10,000 minus 0.001X where X is from 0 to 10,000 unit. Uh, find the following for each week. A, the maximum revenue and B, the maximum profit, the production level that we realize the maximum profit and the price that the company should charge. Uh, for A, okay, revenue function equals to price multiply with quantity. Uh, price is already given 10 minus 0 0.001 X. Okay, multiply with quantity is X. Uh, 10 X minus 0 0.001 X square. Okay, after we get the revenue function, uh, we want to find the maximum revenue. Uh, so that means we have to find the marginal revenue and then uh, we equate with zero. Okay, first our prime is equal to 10 minus 0.002x. Okay, find your value of x. Okay, our prime equals to zero. So 10 minus 0.00x equals to zero. Okay, so x equals to 5000. Okay, test your value by using second order derivative test. Uh, R double prime is equal to negative 0 0.002. Okay, less than zero. Uh, it is maximum. Okay, the conclusion, uh, the revenue uh, is maximum at production level of uh, 5,000 units. Okay, after we get the quantity, we can find the maximum revenue. Okay, but substitute x equals to 5,000, okay, into revenue function. Okay, so R5,000 equals to 10 multiply with 5,000 uh, minus with 0 0.001 uh, multiply with 5,000 square. Okay, so equals to uh, 25,000. Uh, so your maximum revenue is equals to RM 25,000. Okay, so this is for uh, for A. Okay, for B, we want to find the maximum profit. Okay, and the production level. And then the price. Uh, so because this one is maximum profit, that means we have to find another X. Okay, we cannot use Okay, the quantity from A. Uh, because A is a maximum revenue. Uh, first, find your profit function. Uh, your profit function is equal to revenue minus cost function. Uh, revenue. Okay, we find it from A. Okay, 10x minus 0.001x square minus cost function from the question. Simplify. So, you should get 8x minus 0.001x square okay, minus 5000. Okay, so after we have the profit function, okay, we want to find the uh, quantity or production level. Uh, find marginal profit okay, equals to 8 minus 0.002x. Put the marginal profit with 0 okay, to find your x. 8 minus 0.002x equals to 0. So you will get x equals to 4,000. Test your value by using second order derivative test. Profit double prime. Negative 0.002. Okay, we get negative value. It is maximum. Okay, the conclusion, the profit is maximum uh, at production level of uh, 4,000 units. Okay, so now we want to use this quantity to find the maximum profit. Uh, substitute 4,000 okay, into profit function. Uh, profit 4,000 is equal to 8 multiplied with 4,000 minus 0 0.001 multiplied with 4,000 square uh, minus 5,000. So you will get, okay, the profit is equal to 11,000. So, maximum profit equals to 11,000 ringgit. 
Okay, and the last one. Okay, don't forget to find the price for part B. Okay, price is your PX. Okay, substitute. Okay, X equals to 4,000. Uh, P, 4,000 is equals to 10 minus 0 0.001 multiply with 4,000. Uh, so, your price is 6. Uh, the price that the company okay should charge uh, for each radio is rm uh, six or six ringgit okay and for the last part the government has decided okay to tax the company two ringgit for each radio produce taking into account this additional cost uh, how many radios should the company manufacture each week in order to maximize its weekly profit uh, what is the maximum weekly profit? And how much should the company charge for the radio to realize the maximum weekly profit? Uh, so for the last situation, okay, the government has decided to tax the company. Okay, the tax is two ringgit. Uh, so that means the cost for the company is increasing. Uh, so let's look for the cost function. The cost function given in the question is 5000 plus 2x okay now we want to consider the tax is 2 ringgit for each radio uh, that means for each unit uh, so we have to plus the cost function with 2x uh, 2 ringgit multiply with each unit uh, x uh, so the new cost function is 5000 plus 4x Okay, now we want to find the new profit function. Okay, because we want to maximize the profit. Uh, so for profit, okay, we have to find the new one. Okay, revenue minus cost. Uh, the revenue, we use the function from part A. Revenue is 10x minus 0.001x square. Uh, then minus with the new cost function. Okay, 5,000 plus 4x. So, the new profit function, okay, after the tax is 6x minus 0.001x square minus 5,000. Uh, so, we want to find the new quantity for this profit function. Okay, find the marginal profit. Okay, 6 minus 0.002x. Okay, this is the marginal profit. Uh, then, find the x by equal it with 0. And your x is equal to 3000. Okay, test the values by using the second order derivative test. Okay, profit double prime. Negative 0 0.002. Okay, it is maximum because negative values. Uh, so, the conclusion is. Uh, the profit is maximum at a uh, production level of uh, 3,000 units. Then we want to use, okay, the X equals to 3,000, okay, to find the maximum profit and uh, the price that should be charged. Okay, we use X equals to 3,000 to find the profit function. Okay, we use X equals to 3,000 to find the maximum profit. Okay, we use the new one from this part. So, 6 times 3,000 minus 0.001x, that means 3,000 square, minus 5,000. Uh, so, you will get, okay, profit when x equals to 3,000 is 4,000. The maximum profit is RM, uh, 4,000. Okay, we use the same value of X to find the price that should be charged. Uh, so, price, 3,000. Okay, we use the function given in the question. So, 10 minus 0 0.001 multiply with 3,000. Uh, then, you get the value of 7. Uh, for conclusion, the price that the company should charge for the radius is several ringgit.